On today's song analysis, we're gonna do the Earth's final confession or Chikyu Saigo no Kokohaku by Kemu. <laughs> This song is one of the top songs I assign to my favorite ships because it covers the trope I really really like and that is love through the lens of immortality. This song is actually included in Kemu Vox series which is a multimedia project by Kemu, the composer, Hatsuko, the illustrator, and Kesan Beta, the video producer. I don't know how to say that, sorry. Basically, it's a series of vocalist songs with characters and plots that connect to each other. Pretty similar with the Daughter of Evil series, I might say. And this Kemu Vox series is also very big as well. It includes a lot of well-known Vocaloid songs such as Dear Doppelganger, A Six Trillion Years, An Overnight Story, and many more. I personally have not read the novel, but thankfully they have a wiki page for it, so I'm using that as my source instead. Basically, in this universe, there's a wish-granting device called Pandora Vox, and there's this character named Maki who describes herself as the device itself. So you can think of her as like a god who grants other people's wishes, but instead of making people happy, the wishes that she granted seems to have unwanted effects. So in the songs of this series, they mostly tell us a story about people who wishes to be transparent, who wishes to be able to predict things, who wishes to be able to reset life, and they all end up having bad catastrophic side effects. And for this song in particular, it's immortality. The song starts with a girl in the cover named Yun saying, I don't want to grow up, I said, acting grown up. Dashing through the youthful days, at any rate, the prank that befell me was awfully mean, spirited, a meddlesome immortality. So yeah, she basically said, I don't want to grow up, I want to stay young. And Maki hears this, grants her wish, and boom, immortality. And this destroyed her. Everything she have ever wanted disappeared, including watching the love of her life die in front of her eyes. Which is why the song starts with, and after you, blissfully unaware, turned into happy ashes. She also said, and as my longing, my aspiration dies, never to butt up again. And to you whom I love, I will say goodbye. To me, this line hits really hard because in every immortal acts human story, the immortal, most of the time, would find it hard to open up their heart and fall in love because they have lived for so long, all the sparks are gone. Which is why there's a lyric that says, on this day, 100 years ago, your grandmother did say the exact same thing that I had said. And after your grandchildren's grandchildren finally move from this world, I will be all alone once again. Describing how as an immortal, they have witnessed life after life gone, which is why they tend to distance themselves from humans because they will lift them anyway, so it's better to not get too attached. Which is why I think once they're in love, they're gonna like remember that one person forever and ever and ever. Which is why they also said, and after the blood spilled and the world turned to ash, even after all this time, you are the one I remember. In this part, I think she had lived long enough up to when the earth is dying and the world is ending. And at that time, she finally realized the meaning behind this prank slash punishment of her getting immortality. <laughs> I don't know exactly why, but from the lyrics, it's pretty obvious that she has not confessed her love yet. Which is another thing about immortality. Like, you'd be so used to think that you have time. You take things slow, too slow even. You forgot that the ones you love probably did not have the same amount of time as you. So as the time is ending, she said, <laughs> I'm so timid, but I can say it now. I'll say the Earth's final confession. And the words she repeatedly say throughout the whole song, that sunset I saw then was stunning, that's for certain. But to call it love is just a disgrace, isn't it? But to call it love is just being round about. I think what she's trying to say is that she uses this sunset to depict a past beautiful memory that she has with the one she loves. And by saying to call it love is a disgrace, to me it feels like she's trying to emphasize that my love for you has lasted this long through generations upon generations, from the start of our existence to the end of the world. And so to say that my love is just a fleeting moment, like a short memory I had in my long life, is a disgrace. Because up till now, I still love you. I still loved you, and I finally said so. So yeah, there's a lot of things 
that could be unpacked from the story so i suggest you read the series and connect it to other songs if you want to know more just google the wiki page of kemu vox and it will appear i will also include it of course in the description but i guess the moral of the story is to be careful of what you wish for because we'll never know so yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye